Yo, what up? It's your boy Taquan. What? What the? Hold on, let me just fix this. What up? What it do? What it is? It's your boy Taquan, man. I'm back with another video, but a different type of video. We gonna be cooking! All right, as y'all can see, I got some salmon right here. I already seasoned it earlier. I'm gonna get a season it again. We have our seasonings right here. Some good old Obey. Oh, oh baby. Obey seasoning right there. We got the Italian seasoning, garlic salt, which we didn't really need garlic salt, but we cook them on the salmon. We got some Larry's, Larry's seasoning salt. And then over here, we got some red pepper because I love my things spicy. We got everything. We got some minced garlic, we got the lemon juice. That's cornmeal, and then we got butter in the freezer. So we about to make us a lot of things. We're getting ready to fry some of the salmon up, and then we're gonna make some on the stove regularly. Uh, we got some shrimp, we got some crab legs that I'm gonna bake. Now, I never baked crab legs before. This is gonna be my first time ever baking some crab legs. So we about to get lit in this Let's get to prepping. All right, so right here, we got us three different packs of salmon. They both, they both, they all the same. Like I said, I seasoned them earlier. But I'm gonna season them again because I have to season the bottom of the salmon because I like my meat very seasoned. That's what she said. <laughs> you feel me? So, oh, that smells good as f Oh my god, that smells good. That smells really, really good. All right, so like I said, I seasoned these earlier. Now we're just gonna flip them over and we're gonna season the back of them. Now, if you never had salmon meat before, let me tell you something. Salmon is really, really good. Really, really good. It's a big, thick fish. To me, it's like the steaks of fishes. You know what I'm saying? So, anyways. Are you me? So, we're just gonna go ahead and add a little bit of seasoning salt on the back. We're not adding too, too much because we have the Old Bay seasoning over here, and then we have garlic salt. So, we don't want it to be too salty, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So we just gonna add a little sprinkle of that. Add some Italian season, cause you know, we don't have no parsley. So this will substitute as the parsley. You know what I'm saying? Now, we're gonna go ahead and add ourselves some Old Bay. Cause Old Bay B, let me tell you something. I love fish. I love seafood overall, I love seafood. You know what I'm saying? And when you seasoning your food, man, if you, a guy like me that's been cooking for a hot little minute, you know what I'm saying? Us black folks, when our ancestors, man, they seasoned by eyeball. I season by eyeball. I don't season by, okay, we're gonna take a pinch of salt. that shit. I, mean, I season like this. I eyeball my shit. You heard me? All right, so we got a, a knife, a cutting board. We're slicing one of these into fours. Or maybe, uh, I don't know, let's slice them up how I can. And the other side, uh, the other two are gonna get diced up and are gonna be fried with the cornmeal and of course, oil. Okay, so let's move this out the way. We're gonna chop, uh, we're gonna do this one. We're gonna slice this one into four long pieces. If we can, maybe three. This slice is so good. So good. See that? So good. It's like so good. Wow, so good. Nice and slice. Three pieces. Uh, I thought it was gonna be four, but it's three. And I noticed something. I pulled out the... Oh, you guys gotta excuse old Taekwondo. He's a crazy son of a bitch. He's a crazy son of a bitch. Okay, so now we take the other piece, the second piece, and we'll put that in the trash. And then what you do, slice, 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 right? Now these we're gonna leave like that. We're gonna leave these just like the way it is. Cause we wanna tackle the more thick pieces, you know what I'm saying? So what you do, Slice down the opposite way so they can cut into bite size. 
bite size. We want us some nuggets. Salmon nuggets. That's right, baby. Salmon nuggets. Perfect. That, that, that look good right there. That look really, really f***ing good. Now what you want to do is you want to take your pieces that you chopped up. Drop them in your cornmeal. Yep, drop them right on in. Drop them in, drop them in. Drop them in like you're dropping into a game of Fortnite. You hear me? Boom, drop them right on in. Don't be, don't be afraid, just drop them in. See that? Boom. Then, you wanna close it real quick. You follow me? Y'all following me? Boom, see that? Shake. Shake. Shake some. Shake some. Shake some. Yeah, just like that. You want cornmeal all over the salmon meat. Okay? Mm. 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 Scramps. Now, with the shrimps, they do have the shell and they do have the tail on them. You have to peel the shell and the legs off. Now, I'm going to tell you something. If you don't like peeling shells off shrimp, then you don't like eating shrimp. And also, importantly, you have to pull the little shit out of it, too. So if you don't like doing that either, you don't like eating shrimp. Let's get to it. Now, this is how I peel shrimp. I start from the top right here, like from right here. I rip off one part of the shell, and then I just peel the whole thing off. So I go like this. And then after that, I pull that easily. <laughs> Everything comes off. <laughs> so I put it right there. I'm gonna show you guys again. So right here, just rip, rip, and pull up. Oh, this one they go right. Let me do it again. The legs are still on too. So I got it. Got it. Let's see, uh, this one right here from the top. Pull. like that. Just like that. <laughs> I'm doing this at a weird angle too, so that's another problem. All right, all right. I hope y'all enjoying yourselves. Now, to the fun part. We have ourselves here some crabs. Crab legs. These are Alaskan snow crabs. These are going to be so good. Now, like I said, we're baking them. We're not doing it the traditional way. We're actually going to put them in the oven. Now, like I said, I never baked crabs before. This is my first time. But you don't have to be afraid. Just do it like the night you say. <clears throat> All right, on to the crabs. And I ain't talking about the STD. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> as simple as this. We got garlic, we got lemon juice, we got red pepper, we got Old Bay, we got Italian seasoning, and importantly, you want to get yourself some butter. You got you some f***ing butter. Country crock. Cause she wants to suck my cock. So, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add the Old Bay. Add the Old Bay? Why that? Shut up! Cause this is how I want to do it, god damn it. add the Old Bay first. Actually, I'm doing it so backwards. But that's okay. Actually, what I actually am supposed to do is I'm supposed to put this all in one cup and mix it and then just pour it. Okay, we're gonna do that now. Anyways, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some butter. Taste some butter. We're gonna put it in a cup. Okay. We're gonna take like maybe three or four scoops of butter. All right. All right. Now we're gonna just stick this in the microwave for about 40 seconds. 
let that melt down some and then we're gonna add everything into it and put it on the crabs our butter is nice and melted so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in some red pepper but not too much i'm a spicy type of guy i like my things very spicy i just don't like when it comes out spicy you get my trip <laughs> anyways you're gonna add in the lemon juice about a good amount that's good enough right there put that back in the refrigerator because water <clears throat> you're gonna add in your italian seasoning italian Even though we put some on the crabs already, but that's okay. That is okay. Okay. Put that back. And last, but definitely not this, get you about two spoonful of garlic. Stir that together. Just like that. Put the garlic back. And, um, uh, oh! We are a little fancy. We did not forget, we're gonna add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil onto the crabs. Not a lot. Not a lot. All right. And now, what we're gonna do is, if I can find it, I don't see a brush, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just drizzle that thing. Drizzle that thing. Matter of fact, fuck that. Pull it on there. Don't be afraid, corn. Just pull that thing on there. Mm-hmm. Pull that thing on there. Yeah. Get that garlic on top of the crabs. That's right. You know, don't be afraid. Put that garlic on top now. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that smells good. That smells good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, there's our crabs. Uh, all right. There's our crabs. Nice and ready to go in the oven. Yep, we got the crabs nice and wrapped in aluminum foil, ready to go in the oven. Now keep in mind guys, this is not a professional food making channel, okay? So I know I didn't say how much to put in wood and do this and that. F that shit. Eyeball it, god damn it. All right, y'all, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this oven on right now. And we're gonna get things popping in a few minutes. Gonna add some virgin oil, extra virgin oil, like you do say. All right, we're gonna patiently wait for the oven to heat up some. Now, keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, this is my first time ever making salmon, but it's not hard to do. You know what I'm saying? I have parents who make salmon. My grandmother used to make salmon. Now, this is my first time actually pan frying uh, salmon and also frying salmon in oil you know what I'm saying so I don't think I'm gonna do that that bad but you know let's do it now excuse my stove for having a weird angle the uh, pan thing has a very very weird angle going about but that's okay it. now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in the salmon Add in the salmon. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We get a focus. We get a focus.
Yeah. Okay. Make sure everybody gets some of that oil. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, let that cook on one side for six minutes, and then the other side will be cooked for six minutes as well. If it's not cooked to my expectations, of course we will cook it longer. All right, so let's see if I can successfully uh, flip one of these bad boys over. One time for the one time. Ah! Oh yeah, that looks very, very, very presentable. Oh, one broke. One broke. One broke in half. Ah! 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 There we go. Look how nice and brown those are right there. Y'all see that? That looks f***ing amazing. This is gonna be a good meal. Ready, ready, go! Yeah, my. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That looks f***ing good. Look at that right there. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Ooh, bitch. Ooh, bitch. All right, so now we got the shrimp in the front pan right now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit more of Old Bay. Just a little bit more, AKA a lot more. <laughs> All right, and we're gonna add a little bit of seasoned salt, a little bit. It must be different. We're gonna add some lemon pepper to that thing. We're gonna give it a nice little tang to it, you know? Alright, little tang, little tang, won't hurt nobody. Just stir that around. Stir that around town. Stir it around town. This is how our shrimps look. Pink and white, like how shrimp is supposed to be. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna put our top on top. And let that cook. Hello, crabs. How are you? Are you in there cooking really good? I know you are. I say another 10 minutes, we'll take you out the oven, okay? No, matter of fact, I say another extra 15 minutes. We're gonna take the crabs out in another 15 minutes, you feel me? But we wanna wait till we start seeing that steam from up under that pan. You know what I'm saying? It's the main event. Oh yeah, we got that oil heating up right now for the salmon bites. Salmon bites get ready to touch that oil. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Here's our uh, pan fried salmon right here. Looks very good, nice and golden brown. We got our shrimp. That shit smells so good. It smells so good. We got the crab legs still in the oven. Ooh, bitch. Oh yeah, some good old pink lemonade. With chopped up lemons inside, with sugar and everything to go with the fish. Cause it ain't a fish fry. Without pink lemonade or any type of lemonade. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at that. Look at the shrimp. Look at that. Them salmon bites frying, y'all. They frying, y'all. Whoa! Whoa! Look at them thing. Now, this one still had the salmon skin on it. That's why it looks like that. But if you flip it over, golden brown. Yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all mother loving ages. I just want to do this special presentation of these crabs. Now, are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? I know y'all ready, so let's do it. These are the bait crabs. Ooh, that's hot. Ooh, that's hot. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all see that sting, girl? Ooh. My Jesus. my god oh my god wow <laughs> look at those crabs then we don't kill mr crabs cuz we don't bait and stink mr crab man you feel me 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 look at that shit. Jesus Christ. Here. 
finish the finished product of everything. We are f***ing lit! We got the shrimp, you got the pan fried salmon, you got the baked crabs, and you got the bite sized deep fried salmon right there. Oh my god. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes my ghetto fabulous cooking video that I provided to y'all that y'all wouldn't stop asking me to fing do. And I did it for you guys. I hope you enjoyed every bit of it. Y'all know what to do. Drop y'all lovely comments down below. Hit that like button. Hit that goddamn subscribe button. And most importantly, hit that goddamn share button. And if you want to, you can hit that notification bell and that's the subscribe button. Even though it don't feel like it's doing a goddamn thing. Goddamn but you can hit it anyway so you don't get any videos missed. Okay? I'm out of here. Cool. What it is.